Hi, welcome to this new video tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about the white label error page found in many uh, Spring Boot projects. In this case here, I'm going to show you one of the way of solving this issue based on ACS4 and the latest JDK 16. Without a further ado, let's go. Yeah, suppose that uh, when you try to access your projects, your page here, you get this error here. How to solve this issue? Then let's go to our code here. I tried to create a small. Uh, I tried to create a small uh, hello page, hello world page, a small uh, demo uh, Spring Boot applications. And whenever I run it, I come across this, this white label error. So how do we solve it? So one way of solving this one is suppose that this what we get here. This is our mapping here. And what you have to know is that we can either treat uh, our controller as a normal controller or as a restful controller. So if you want to use a normal controller, then it will be created, it will be treated as a our controller will be created as a normal MVC controller. Okay, so to make it short, if you want to use this controller here, then you have to add the request mapping. So if we add the response body here, you have to add this response body. If you add response body here and reload our projects, Our project is being reloaded. Okay, it is up and running. Then if you go there, you can see hello world is working. So we can also do this one differently. If we uh, disable again the response body, save it and reload our project. And try to access it you can see that the error re happened again so the second thing that we can do is to treat our controller directly as a restful uh, controller in that case we have to uh, instead of using a controller attack we have to use a rest controller and in that case here this response body is no more needed. So we only have rest controller here above our controller name and here we have a request mapping. So we save it and we reload it. Bam, you can see that the lower wall is working. So these are the two different ways uh, which you can use to solve this problem. And I remember I recall here that here nothing has been used here in the application properties. You haven't used any extra things here. The only thing that has been used is playing around the controller and the response body or the rest controller without uh, the response body. So I hope that this uh, video tutorial will be useful to you. It will allow you to overpass this error and move forward with your Spring Boot projects. Then that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like it, press the like buttons and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.